And alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. You beautiful people, hopefully you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in this world. Comment below hashtag self-developed army. We did have this amazing golden ray, the light coming in, but unfortunately it has subsided. But you know what? I'm not even going to cap. This kind of looks cool. We're catching like in-between vibes of golden hour and blue hour. So hopefully you guys enjoy the contrast. Not that you give a fuck about the lighting. But with that, let's get this video going. So guys, in today's video, a little bit of a deeper one or a more controversial one. To be honest, all my videos are controversial and very anti-culture because our society, you guys know, just being honest, the majority of us, not necessarily you guys and, and I, we're a tight-knit army. That's literally why I say hashtag self-developed army. But the majority of our society, guys, is plummeting downwards into degeneracy, okay? Think of like, there's a big cliff and a bunch of cows are literally, like they're just running. Like millions of them, they're all running and they're like, we're going to the promised land, man. It's going to be so much better over there keep going guys and like society's like yeah keep going trust me all the goodies are down there and then just one by one they all fall but they can't see because you can't see there's a cliff like all you see are just people you know what i mean and think of like a shopping mall or something like that right everyone's just running running and you're like you just see the backs of people's heads and then people start falling off but by the time they fall off it's too late you're literally at the edge of the cliff so you and i self-developed army we're saying fuck that i'm going the other way and really we're just like watching everyone we're like you motherfuckers like we're trying to help you Stop doing this, stop moving downwards into degeneracy, and we follow the other path, which may be lonelier, it definitely is lonelier, um, a little bit scarier, uh, more uncertain, but um, I, I, look, buddy, I'm not trying to die, I'm not trying to jump off a fucking cliff, so if you guys are with me on that, comment below hashtag self-developed army, and let's jump into today's video. So guys, with that, in today's video, I titled it, or believe I titled it, Leave your loser friends, okay? Ditch your loser friends. I'm sorry yeah, this has to be said. I've said this beforehand. I've alluded to this multiple times, but this has only hit me as of late. You know, I'll be honest with you guys. I was at the gym yesterday and I went to a different gym than I normally do. And by the way, little disclosure, I'm not saying I'm better than anyone. I wanna make that very clear. Uh, just so we're on the same page, okay? These are just ideas. This is my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but I'm gonna damn well share it regardless because I would rather all of us not fall off this cliff. Now, like I was saying, I went to a different gym than I normally do. My gym closes at six o'clock on Saturday, today's Sunday. So I drove a little bit further, actually passed by my old house where self-developed, uh, uh, bloomed and it, it was great, but I went to a different gym and of course they're different people, right? And I, I people observe, I think we all do. And I just noticed, and for some reason it clicked this time because it happens all the time, but a group of like, I don't know, maybe they're 20 years old, 25, which is even scarier. And there's like three or four of them and they all come together in little huddles, little herds. And I'm doing my workout, right? Right? just crushing my shit and I keep noticing to the left of me the entire fucking workout guys like they're like asking themselves like you know should I do one more like are you doing another set okay no I won't do another set or they're like giggling the whole time and just like poking jokes while they're working out and now look guys I understand it's good to have buddies it's good to have friends it's good to laugh it's good to communicate but man there's a time to fucking giggle laugh and you know kick it with your buddies and there's a time to fucking work there's a time to be alone there's a time to just go all in hammer the fucking set and leave so here's what i'm saying okay i notice and for the first time yesterday it kind of dawned upon me um the majority of men are miserable. And the reason I know this is because that's the only reason you're hanging out with these friends in the first place. So you guys can forget all problems, you can forget all hard work, and just for that little hour or half an hour or two hours, just talk about meaningless, useless shit. And you see this everywhere, guys. And as men in particular, that is the most effeminate thing men can do. I know this will probably get a lot of slack you guys won't like. You'll say, David, you're just being too hard and you know, because you're a lone wolf or you're an introvert, so you don't like people. And and that's not the case. I'm very social. I, I, I love, I want to hang out with people, guys, but not at the expense of my mission. And you better fucking believe, okay? This is just kind of like a mindset shift video. I am not with these friends to just giggle and talk about stupid degenerate shit. Fuck no. That is the definition of weak and beta. I'm sorry. I hate using those words, but it is. What the fuck's wrong with you? Especially as a grown man. What are you, 20, 25? Bro, that's what 12 year olds do. That's literally, I, I walk and there's like, little 11 year olds and they play their video games and Game Boys together. That's fine, that's fine. But you're fucking 20 years old now. So what do you do, right David? What the fuck are you saying? Can I not laugh? No, of course you can laugh, man. But I need you to start viewing and this is why I'll be honest, this will probably get a lot of slack too. I do not like using the word friends. I've used this other word, which I'm gonna tell you so many times to people and uh, they think like, oh, you're a sociopath, which to be honest, man, by 
the way society's moving, maybe I am a fucking sociopath, but I'd rather be this than fall off the fucking cliff. I don't view my friends as friends. I view them as business partners. Sorry, that's it. Hell, I view my girlfriends as business partners. This may trigger a fuck ton of you guys. As men, when you hang out with other men, you are there, both of you, and real men understand this, for the sole purpose to help each other level up faster than you could have by yourself. If I work out with someone at the gym, which 90% of the times I don't, not because people are bad or it's bad to work out with people, not at all. In fact, I've had some of my best workouts working out with strong, powerlifting mentors. But that's what men do. Men one-up each other. Men bring the best. They don't ask each other and say, you know, man, are you going to do one more set? Okay, you won't. I won't either. No problem. What the fuck is that, bro? We don't do this. We do not do this shit. We don't, in between sets, just giggle and like fucking poke each other while they're working. Like, bro, you got to cut this shit out. You guys, and these were like 30-year-old men. 25, 26 26-year-old men. And, and you complain like, why don't women like me? Like, why am I so alone? Guys, I want you to change the word friend to business partner. I know you're probably going to fucking hate me with that. In fact, I have one I have one friend at this moment. One fucking friend. And you better believe when we're together, we're talking about fucking changing the world. He knows who he is. I'm actually about to go walk with him right after this and I saw him beforehand. Changing the world. How can I help your entrepreneurship business? Here are my entrepreneurship ideas. Let's ideate. Let's back and forth. How can I move faster? How can you move faster? That is it. That is it. And then and only fucking then can you have the giggles and laughs afterwards. Man, this fucking idea, so I remember my ex-girlfriend and you know, bless her heart, she hated me for thinking this way. Hated me for thinking this way. So many effeminate people hate me for thinking this way that I, as a man, want to do business first. I want to be with you so we can evolve. We can both serve our purpose and then go get a beer. Then go laugh. Then go giggle. Get the fucking work done first, man. And so many people have it backwards and it's so sad. And I get upset because my entire fucking life I got demonized for thinking this way. I have no friends. Bro, look, maybe this sounds super harsh and maybe it sounds like I'm part sociopath. How is anything I'm saying arbitrary? How is this weird? This is what men do. Men love doing this, guys. And I'm going to finish it here just because there are going to be some guys that think, oh, no, David, that's bullshit. You know, men are supposed to just have fun. You know, okay, you know, society, you guys are with the sheep. That's fine. I promise you, I want you to look back right now to some of your best male friends. The best friends you have or the men you respect and appreciate and admire the most and vice versa are men who you have accomplished something together with. Men build tribe and bond through conquering something together. Not by talking and poking and fucking slapping the other person's dick. It doesn't fucking work that way. We do this because you push me and I push you, motherfucker. I have powerlifting coaches. I have business coaches. I have spiritual coaches. I have men who push me. To be honest, I really don't. I have like one or two guys. But anytime I've done something in life or I've been in the pursuits or have had a guy with me, we've been working. Do you understand? We've been shooting better video, working out, hitting new PRs, guys. These are the men that you love the most. These are your tribe members. And these are the men who you have the best connection with. So what I'm saying is a win-win. It's not a win-lose. It's a win-win. These are real men. This is what we love to do. This is in our blood. Like think of like old tribe members hunting a wild boar together. The amount of camaraderie they'll have together when they're sharing that meal. Dude, they're brothers. But not because they fucking dick slapped each other, but because they killed a fucking boar together. Now, of course, you know, we don't have spears. We're not killing boars. But as men, we're objective focused. And that's why I view all these temporary friends in my life as just that. We're business partners. My sole purpose with you at this moment, this is the way I think you don't have to agree with me, is I'm here to serve you, help you the best I possibly can and vice versa. And then once that's it, poof, gone. This is why I have a very high um, exchange rate with friends. I'll have a friend come in my life for about a month and then leave. Very rarely do I have people stick for life. I have one buddy who's still stuck with me for the past like five years. One. And he's pursuing his mission as fucking hard as I am. So anyways, guys, that is it. I know this video got <laughs> a little passionate and heated. I think it actually kind of worked out the sun dissipated because it's kind of like a darker video. It feels darker. I feel like fucking Batman in my cave right now. But uh, I'm a very loving guy. I love you guys so much and I want to see you all do well and I want you to see me do well. This is how men communicate. This is how men love and grow each other. Don't let our gynocentric feminine society tell you that we're supposed to act like women. That's what women do, okay? Nothing wrong with that if you're a girl. But as a man, we don't just sit around a campfire and giggle all day long. That's not how men bond. Men bond through 
action. Do you understand? And if you disagree with me, then I'm sorry, but you are a sheep that's falling off the cliff. And you'll find out when it's too fucking late. So that is that, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll finish it here with the final plugs. If you guys are interested and would like to work with me at building your tribe, maybe working with mentors like myself, someone who can hold you accountable at improving things like your fitness, business, mindset, and relationships, there is always one-on-one -on -one coaching, guys. Come join the tribe, the literal tribe. Spots are open, guys, and I would love to work with you. We have the step down, which is group coaching. It's our workshop, guys, where we're going live Live this June. You're watching this on Wednesday. We're going live this Sunday, guys, okay? Come join me in a very small group of men where the entire month of June, we're gonna have a one hour call every Sunday and a private Facebook group for unlimited messaging where we're all bettering ourselves, bettering our fitness, bettering our mindsets, bettering our relationships, guys. So come join that tribe, guys, down below the workshop of June this Sunday. And finally, we have our course. The course is passive, online, over three hours long, and is the cheapest option out of the three, transforming, again, every area of your life. Go download the free half an hour version below if interested, and I'll finish it there. You guys can support Edge. Come on, baby. We got that. I think this is red or maroon. I'm just going to call it red uh, hometown tea. You guys know the flex. Bringing out those summer colors because summer is damn well approaching. It's June by the time you're watching this. And yeah, guys, let's get it going. This is all said with love. We are a tribe. This is self-developed army. We love each other guys but we love each other through doing things together through sharing ideas and action we don't just fucking <laughs> you understand we don't just do nothing man we don't just giggle and chat that's not how it is and maybe this sounds like toxic masculinity but i would much rather be toxic and actually survive and thrive long term than be a fucking nice guy and fall off the goddamn cliff with everybody else so thank you guys i love you all i'll check you next video come join june's workshop and let's work together thank you till then much love Peace.